thing about the Tesla is you have the option to preheat the car from the app. I always forget to do it, and then I get upset. The thing is that if I didn't have that option, I wouldn't be upset. What's up guys? I am in the Best Buy parking lot right now. I just bought myself a new lens. This is the 50 millimeter 1.8, the nifty 50. I don't know, I've been doing a little research. I'm just trying to like expand my knowledge of photography and filmmaking and get some more interesting shots for these videos. So it's like perfect lighting right now. Maybe getting a little dark, but I'm gonna throw this on and play around with it for like five seconds before I go home. Whoa. Okay, cool. Here we are. This is the exact same shot. Camera's in the same exact position. You see it's a lot closer. There's no zoom on this one. It's more just like for B-roll of portraits. Getting like this cool blur. Alright, well, I'm gonna walk around the parking lot for a second and play with it. Today is your birthday, Whitey. Happy birthday! Do you care? The birthday girl. It's her birthday. Mm. We should get her some fancy feast while we're out getting coffee. Then. Happy birthday, Queen. You're the best little kitty ever. You like this furry thing? <laughs> <laughs> you are 10 years old today. Cat food. I late. Well, this has Whitey on it, so we should get this probably got to get this brand. Chicken feast. Chicken feast sounds fancy. Like turkey fancy feast, feast and roasted turkey flavor gravy. That's pretty fancy. Okay, that is pretty fancy. <laughs> Look at Whitey looking at it. Like, what the <laughs> <f> is that? <laughs> Whoa! Look at this one. That's too organic for her. She needs the McDonald's of cat, cat food. <laughs> Just to be clear, she doesn't eat this Fancy Feast junk all the time. I can see the comments right now saying how bad it is, but it's her birthday, so this is a special treat for her. Birthday girl. Oh. Are you eating it? No, there's just a little candle. <laughs> Thought you were like, I want to try it. Okay, guys, another simple, easy keto crock pot recipe coming at you right now. Today, I'm going to show you how to make chicken fajitas. Honestly, this is one of the easiest recipes that you can make. You really just have to throw everything in the crock pot. Then you let it sit for six hours. By the time you get home from work, you are going to have some of the best chicken fajitas you've ever had in your life. Okay, the first thing you do, you take your chicken thighs. I know a lot of you people last time were like, hey, you should wash your chicken. No, you're not supposed to wash your damn chicken. The CDC says no, don't wash your chicken. You're just supposed to pat it dry with a paper towel. 
Throw the chicken into the crock pot. And you're gonna throw in eight ounces of cream cheese. Half a cup of salsa. And then it's time for your spices. Teaspoon of cumin. Teaspoon of paprika. Teaspoon of salt. A little pepper. Last thing you're gonna do, you're gonna throw in your peppers and your onions. Erin doesn't like peppers because they give her acid reflux, so we're only using an onion. Give it all a quick mix. Throw your lid on, and you can do it on high for three hours or low for six hours, depending on how much time you have. Um, I would definitely suggest doing it on low if you have the option, so you set it on low for six hours before you leave for work, you get home, you have a perfect dinner. That literally took five minutes. Today I have a surprise for Erin. I didn't tell her what was going on. I just said, you need to come to my office today at two o'clock. So we're heading in to ride or cry because we are doing our very own puppy bowl. We have a lot of dogs in the office, so we decided we were gonna do our own puppy bowl and stream it live on Twitch. Here she is right now. Who are you talking to? Oh, I was just talking to the people, the people on the internet. What's that? Do you have any idea what we're doing today? Do you have any idea what's going on? I feel like you might. I think I might know now. <sighs> she always knows. Oh Welcome to the puppy bowl. <laughs> Oh my god. Hi, Ham. Hi, Lemon. out a box for Whitey for her birthday. Oh, it's Whitey's oh yeah. Birthday. Oh my god, can we get our cake? We got our can of fancy, fancy feast, feast wow. with a candle. So we're gonna bring our so we gotta bring one of these. What about that? That's a good one. This one? Yeah. Okay, we got Whitey a box for her birthday. Get her a little paper. She will be a happy girl. Alright, Whitey. We got you a birthday gift. You love boxes. So you know what I love more? Not being interrupted when I sleep. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's oh. getting up. I'll put it right here. And look at what's inside. <gasps> paper. You love to lay on paper. Oh yeah, there you go. Give it a little note. She'll get in there. Shall we get a little closer? Smell it? Wow, look at all this paper I have. I'm just gonna set it in this box. <laughs> Yeah, heaven. She loves bags. <laughs> Perfect. We'll package you up in bubble wrap and we're just gonna send you off. This is everything that you like, Wendy. <laughs> yeah, but it needs to be full of her food to the brim. Oh. She loves it. She's like, oh, tape. I love tape. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video about my cat's birthday, and thank you for watching all of my videos. It is truly insane to me, the amount of support and love that I've received on this platform so far, and thank you guys for being here for me. Shout out of the video goes to Mercedes in Jacksonville, Florida. Mercedes, you go, girl. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next week. Bye. update that Whitey is in her box. It's probably like 6.30, 7 o'clock, 7.15 right now. We gave her the box at 2 o'clock. She's come in and out of this room a couple times, but she just keeps going right back into her box. Do I know her or do I know her?
You like your box? You have a good birthday?